Texas's mask mandate ends Wednesday, and the decision of whether to wear one will be up to each one of us and the places we go. Um, obviously, it's been a, a bit of a busy week. Joe Monastero is with the Texas Restaurant Association. He says 75% of their members say they'll keep having staff wear masks, and more than half will ask guests to do the same. If a restaurant is doing something that you don't agree with and you don't feel comfortable walking in and sitting down and dining there, but it's one of your favorite restaurants, then carry out, order delivery. He says there's a mix when it comes to whether to push capacity to 100%. Progress demonstrates we can defeat COVID-19, but it does not equal success. White House officials and the CDC director say they're worried about states rolling back prevention measures with the country plateauing at 2,000 deaths a day. Texas hospitalizations have dropped 60% in two months, but they're also 60% higher than the lows we saw in September. The positivity rate has plummeted too, but it's still the highest in the nation. We have seen this movie before. When prevention measures like mask mandates are rolled back, cases go up. Most stores and all major grocery chains like HEB, Tom Thumb and Kroger will keep requiring masks. Monastero says customers at restaurants should show grace, patience, and respect towards whatever a business decides. Don't pick a fight with somebody at the front door. You're putting them in a very awkward position. Everyone wants life back to normal. But there are clear disagreements about what it will take to get there. Wear a mask now so we can get to a place where you don't have to. In Fort Worth, I'm William Joy.